Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator, Ravi Gupta. Today we are going to talk about chain elongation. Today we will see why the chain elongation occur, how it occur, and how we are going to adjust the chain timing because it affected the chain elongation and how the adjustment we are going to take care. So please remain tuned to last to have the knowledge, complete knowledge of chain adjustment while having chain elongation. Today, I want to tell you one thing before beginning the video that uh, this is the part 4 of the chain series, chain drive series. In my earlier video, I have talked about the chain adjustment and before that, I have talked about the chain's inspection. All that you can find in my uh, place section which you will see right popping up in i section button you can go and watch before all the video before this so that you have a clear idea now let's uh, begin the video of the chain elongation as you can see my friend here that there are two chain here one is the new chain this one is the new chain and this one is the chain which has been old chain which has been after having a specific running period of time so as you can see the chain is being colored in red and white okay now as you can see when they are placed side by side that these two are not perfectly in line the upper one is slightly misaligned compared to the lower one so why this is happening this completely indicate that if that particular link amount of link is measured it has been found that the old chain has undergone elongation now the elongation is inevitable it will occur in every chain drive over a period of time the question which come to our mind this is the marine diesel engine chain drive why the elongation occur so elongation occur because this roller okay and this roller this bus this continuously rub against each other while it move around the sprocket so over a period of time this worn out and its thickness decreases and therefore the distance between the center line of the pin the once again center line pin the pitch of the pin changes and hence the chain elongation occur now elongation has taken place but there is a limit in marine diesel engine the limit is been one percent if the elongation overall elongation of a chain is more than one percent of the total chain length in that case we have to change the chain whole chain drive okay so as you can see in this diagram that the total elongation has taken place around 2.5 percent so we have to change it so let me read it out as the roller and bus worn out the overall length of the chain increase with affect the chain timing as i have told you here two chain are shown as you can see the overall increase in length is 2.5 percent the overall increase in length is 2.5 percent as compared to the limit of one percent so we have to change it we are changing chain now one thing i want to tell you that if the chain elongation take place then how the timing is affected means what i mean by timing is that if the chain elongation take place the chain basically provide the drive for the camshaft this is the camshaft drive this is the crankshaft drive so basically as you can see when the chain when the engine is turned such that the number one unit at TDC at that time a point a crankshaft is marked with this arrow and the camshaft is marked with this arrow these both are perfectly in inline condition okay when the engine number one unit at TDC now over a period of time this will elongate and what will happen we will see next slide let's see this now here as you can see over a period of time the chain has elongated and when it is again brought 
to number 1 TDC at that time what has happened that as you can see here when this is at number 1 TDC this thing are not perfectly in line matching like this this is perfectly matching when new after running this is not matching so basically what I want to tell you that the camshaft drive is attached with the fuel pump and exhaust valve drive actuating the fuel pump and exhaust valve if it is not properly aligned in that case the timing of that will be affected so the chain elongation can affect the timing of the camshaft okay for that we had need to take care okay so what i have written here camshaft turning direction with the marking as you can see this is the rotation this is the direction of rotation when the cam crankshaft is at number 1 TDC, that then the marking on the camshaft and crankshaft are aligned in line when the new chain drive is installed. As I have told you, this is a new chain drive scenario. This is the same chain drive when after running a specific interval of time. Now, as you can see, the retardation has taken place because of the chain elongation. So, first thing we have to do is that we have to realign the camshaft to correct timing such that again this thing is maintained so how we are going to do one thing what we are going to do that if the retardation is within 2 degree then VIT index can be adjusted and we don't need to adjust the camshaft drive but if the timing is more than 2 degree retard in that case we have to adjust the camshaft time but one thing I want to make clear that as we are adjusting the timing it means that we also need to take care the chain elongation total elongation what has happened if the total elongation is within one percent is okay good and fair in that case we will adjust the cancer drive timing but if the elongation is more than one percent then we will not adjust the cancer drive timing we will change the chain drive okay because once the elongation has taken uh, one percent operating the chain drive is very hazardous as it may break in any moment because of fatigue failure or stress failure and whatever reason many more reason and therefore this limit has been imposed okay now after a period of running chain drive boost and roller we are down hence the timing of camshaft get retarded as i have told you because of this retardation timing of fuel pump exhaust valve get altered okay it's very clear up to two degree of misalignment is acceptable and can be adjusted by vit index okay means two degree of alignment is adjustable by vit index but above two degree of misalignment not adjustable we have to hydraulically jack the cam and bring it back to it original position now the thing which come to our mind is that okay now the cam sub retardation has taken place but we have to bring the cam on it normal position what is a normal position so what engine manufacturer have done that they have given us a tool which is called pin gauge this is a pin gauge this pin gauge is such that when the number one unit of the crankshaft is at TDC at that time at the end of the camshaft drive a pop mark is provided and on the engine frame a pop mark is provided these two pop mark is aligned with the pin gauge when this pin gauge is placed these two pop marks should get aligned if it is not aligned it means this means if this is not aligned with respect to this it means that misalignment has taken place now what we have to see how much degree of misalignment above 2 degree we have to adjust it by hydraulically jacking it below 2 degree okay well enough we can still carry out the function we can do it by vit so by this how we are checking the cams of timing by a pin gauge okay so let's see what i've written here pin gauge is used to check the degree of misalignment in order to check degree of misalignment that cams of is turned such that number one unit at TDC as I have told you once the end of the right angle pin gauge is one 
end of the right angle pin gauge is then placed in a pop mark okay this pop mark on the engine frame as i have told you and the other end of the pin gauge should locate on a pop mark in a cam shaft these two match now let's see now we have known that the cam shaft retardation has taken place and now how we are going to jack it so what we are going to do we are gonna put hydraulic connection to the coupling and after that we are going to jack it so as you can see this is the hydraulic connection which we are placing here okay and with the hydraulic uh, pump and we are jacking it up means this cam shaft this drive is been lifted this cam shaft coupling is been lifted with compared to this cam shaft drive okay and this is a pull block with a wheel drive to pull it normal position so let's see what I have written here. Hydraulic connection to the camshaft is made by hydraulic coupling. So this is the hydraulic coupling and hydraulic connection are made. Camshaft is hydraulically expanded and then rotated using a special tool bolted on a flange on the camshaft and a pull block. This is the special tool which has been bolted on a flange on the camshaft and it is pulled downward. As it is pulled means the pulling it depends upon the degree of misalignment means what how much amount of pulling we are doing we are doing that much amount of pulling such that these two pop mark again matches each other that amount of pulling we are doing as soon as these two pop mark will matches each other we will stop there and we will depressurize the hydraulic coupling and we will again the cam, cam shaft will swing fit the cam drive the cam shaft is carefully turned until the pin gauge lines up with the pop mark as I have told you and after that we will remove the hydraulic connection and the cam shaft timing is adjusted. So I hope you understand that how the cam shaft timing is adjusted and how we are checking it. So I hope in this video you have learned how chain timing is affecting the cam shaft timing and as the chain elongation has taken place and affecting the cam drive cam drive timing we are adjusting it and how we are adjusting it please do like and share my video and please subscribe it it's a request to you please subscribe so that it keep me encouraged to make such kind of video for you and for the marine field guys thank you friend image credit goes to marinediesel.co.uk thank you